Welcome back to Horror Ball. Today I want to talk about something very important, okay? This is the most important thing in Horror Ball, to me at least. And it is speed. Speed is so important in this game, okay? I hate playing William. I barely like playing Charlie. I can handle Jay, but I play Rebecca all the time. Also, I have to play all the characters every single day because I need to max out all their gold points limits and soul point limits, and it's exhausting, but I still have to do it so I can make more videos. Okay, so we're gonna start with the stats first, then we're gonna go into the game, then I'm gonna show you in comparison how it feels when they're all trying to race, and we're gonna do this. So my Rebecca at level 26, yes, she is so high on level, I know that has 61 speed, okay? Jay has 60 speed at level 20. Rebecca also has 60 speed at level 20. Charlie has 55 speed, and William has 53 speed, okay? So each point of speed, I don't know the exact percentage amount, but it is very high, okay? Like, I actually notice a difference with a Rebecca at 61 compared to Jay at 60. And it's weird that it's so important. But we're gonna go into the game, okay? I'm gonna show you what I mean and how important it is. Like, I play the game completely different with different characters, okay? With Rebecca and Jay, it's just about running as fast as possible, getting the best possible weapons, and just going faster. I don't know why I chose this map. <laughs> Why am I here? Oh my god, this is the worst possible thing. Never mind, we're going back to the neighborhood, okay? Because I need a small map. Okay, so this is how I play, okay? Get this as fast as possible, run in here because if somebody's still trying to pick up the chest, just run out. Where do they go? It's a Rebecca. It's a Rebecca. What are you doing, Rebecca? You're dying, Rebecca. Sorry about that. She's using my slingshot, though. I like her style. I should have killed her. Okay, so basically I want to get as many chests as I can and I might die now. Of course, because I'm recording a video, but now I can heal because I'm so fast. Please don't kill me. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie, yeah, see, see, it worked. My theories worked, okay? Because I was able to run away because I was faster than him, I was able to heal with one apple, which allowed me to shoot him and kill him before he killed me. Now give me my apple back, please. Which is also another reason why I choose Rebecca, just because the apples are so good. Especially when you combine speed with apples. You do whatever you want. So we killed two people now, which is pretty good, right? Kind of slow start because I almost died twice. We got another Charlie here. I don't know what he's doing. But he's dying. That's what's happening. Ooh. And also, I changed to using the evil nun. I am Sister Madeline now. Because she's fast. Okay? And I like playing really fast. I don't know why this guy is walking around, but whatever. And we have a Jay that is hiding in that window. I'm going to get him now. We're gonna be sneaky, okay? We gotta be sneaky. And he jumped out. And now Jay is going to hide, but gets caught in a second. But there's another Jay over there. But I lost it. <laughs> and it's okay. So, like I was saying, I play really fast. So these characters, they're way important to me. So because I play really fast, I just want to go fast. I just want to finish as fast as possible. Somebody is over there waiting. I'm gonna go get a heal because I have no health. And of course, there's no heals anywhere for me. So there's a high chance I'm gonna lose this. What? Oh no. No, I won. <laughs> Accidental win. We're going for another round and then I'm gonna play as William to show you how it sucks to be that slow. But then you can compare it, okay? We got two slingshots. We already won the game. Also, I will show you this trick very soon, don't worry, okay? I was supposed to do a video and do it yet. So we got a J, we got a J inside, we got a J outside, and he's over there. And he doesn't know what he's doing, because he's dead already. He cannot survive it. But because there was another J that was running over there, that is probably through here, I'm hoping. Somebody's shooting me. Okay, never mind. Hey, J. J, what are you doing? You want another J? Okay, we, we shot him for 90. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> oh no, Jay, what are you doing? You're getting hit by 90s. <laughs> I'm sorry. My character is way too strong sometimes. 
This is my ultimate loadout, by the way. Two slingshots and apples. Plain as Rebecca. There is nothing better than it. But remember, this is about speed. This isn't about being the best. Well, it is being the best if you try and be the fastest. Hello there, Mr. J. What are you doing, sir? Dying? Yes, seems like it. Also, being a fast character allows you to run away pretty fast and heal like I did earlier, but also try to get away from the horror whenever they turn into horror and run to the safe spot that I made a video about. So I kind of like staying around the middle so I know that I can run if I want to. Hey, Rebecca, I feel bad, but never mind. <laughs> oh, no, I won again. Is that somebody? <laughs> nope. One is so far away. Another one is hiding over here, trying to be cute. I don't know what he's doing, really. He's getting caught. That's what he's doing. Okay, and might not be able to get the last one. Maybe. We're going to try. Oh, look. <laughs> he's just standing there. What are you doing, dude? I don't know what he's doing. He's just standing there. We're going to win again. Okay. And then we're going to play as William. There you go. I think that was the same character or the same person as last time. Okay, so I want to show you. How you play as a fast character compared to playing as a slow character. Now, I hate doing this. I really do. But we gotta do it. Also, another tip that you need to know. I assume you know it already, so I'm not even saying it. But always use your melee weapon when you're running around, okay? Because you're faster. If you hold a gun, you get slower. If you go take that, you get faster. And also, Jay, Jay, what are you doing, Jay? Jay, Jay, what are you doing? Are you gonna die? You don't have health. <laughs> you don't have health for this. Okay. So how I would play the slowest character is completely different from playing Rebecca. Okay. I would get all the weapons that I need to. But also, I usually wouldn't get apples. Okay. Unless I'm playing as Charlie. Because with Charlie, I can get apples and I can get the other heals if I want to. So I would usually go for the standard thing, which is basically shotgun and machine gun because since I can't run really fast also this is what you're supposed to do with William because he has more health it's better to use healing the med kit or whatever it's actually called and then I'll pick up an apple just because I can and now we change to the shotgun okay so this is the standard thing this is what everybody used in the beginning in season one this is the most common thing but also if you're playing as William please be close to a safe spot because if the horror spawns hey there <laughs> look there's like literally no way i could catch him right now i'm probably gonna have to go around and hope that he goes this way so i can catch him i don't know where he went we're gonna wait for him okay because he has the blue key we want the blue key but at the same time we don't want him to run past us he's probably fighting okay he is fighting hey jay you died sorry i get to steal your blue key by being sneaky William also I can be the nun and finish the game as William but in a completely different way and for me it's way more fun playing as the fast characters than the slow characters he is going up he opened a door he's gonna close the door right you gonna close the door what are you doing there Jay huh what are you doing I don't know. So playing a slow character is different from playing a fast character. And I showed you now. Now we're going to do the finale, which I said I was going to do. Now, this is the comparison of Rebecca to William, like all of the characters running at the same time and how far it takes or how fast it takes you to get from one place to the other as all the characters. So you know the difference of speed. I know this looks complicated. It's not really complicated. I'm probably overcomplicating it, but I like doing that. So now we have all four characters, Rebecca in the top left, Jay in the top right, Charlie in the bottom left, and William in the bottom right. And basically I'm standing just outside the small hole in the cinema area leading to the neighborhood. And I'm gonna run straight past all the cars turn left, go around the bus, and stop at a certain point, okay? Are you ready for this? Are you ready for the moment you've been waiting for? Hopefully you've been waiting for. <laughs> Let's hit it. Okay, look at Rebecca. Look at William. I just passed the thing. I passed the truck. <laughs> and now I passed that truck, and William has barely even gotten to the truck. Like, there is a big difference, okay? And this accumulates over time because you're running around in the match. 
the whole time and that's it they're done and these guys are just like <laughs> taking their time okay so the actual difference is there's around like a 0 0.7 second from rebecca to jay and then from rebecca to charlie it's around two seconds i think two or three seconds is it does it even show it does show so 26 it's around two seconds, two and a half seconds. Let's do it again, okay? I didn't have like a countdown thing, like a timer, which I really wanted to do, but I couldn't find it in time to do this video, so I had to do this amateurish way. And of course, this is the best possible way to, to show a comparison because I'm turning and doing different things. Okay, so this ends at 22 seconds and William ends at 26 seconds. So between Rebecca and William, there's a four second difference, okay? So if I'm running around the match, that second gap will keep on increasing and increasing and increasing. If you're talking about a small race, like if I wanted to race all of them for 10 seconds, there wouldn't be that much difference, I think, compared to running around at least half of the neighborhood map to show you. But yes, I did this. <laughs> I had to do this, okay? I really wanted to see because I just don't like playing the slow characters anymore because I can't handle the speed difference. And I don't know what's going to happen. Like, I don't know what all the kids stats are at level 30 because you have to actually compare that. And right now I know my Rebecca has one more speed over Jay. And I'm not sure if William and Charlie will get even faster as they level up to level 30 because you don't have a lot of stats, by the way, when you're playing. So as you're leveling up, OK, I'm not going to upgrade him. All right, chill, William. You have stats per level when you're not getting a reward, okay? So at level 23, William will gain no stats. At level 25, because he's going to get an ability boost, he won't gain stats. And at level 29, he won't gain stats. And I think possibly level 30 because you get a skin. Or you should get a skin. We don't know because nobody's hit 30 yet. I think I'm the closest one. So that means William will get stats at 21, 22, 24, 26, 27, 28. Unless there's a reward after this. Okay, that's pretty... That's a good amount of stats though. With Rebecca, my next level is going to increase my ability. Which means I'm not going to get a stat boost. But 28... I'm going to gain a stat boost and hopefully 30 because this is 29 and it shows coming soon over here because I don't know what's going to happen about that. Maybe there's no reward. I'm not sure how it works, but you need so much soul points. It needs so much gold to level past where I am at right now. But yeah, so today we talked about speed and I showed you the comparison with different characters and how to play different characters, a slow character versus a fast character. Anyways, for now, I'm going to have to end this here. I hope you guys liked it. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a like. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Flick.